What's going on y'all? Joseph Morrison, AKA Kojo Locks, and I'm coming to you with another lock video. Um, this is a lock channel where I discuss lock content. So if that's something you're interested in and looking for, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, smash the notification bell so you're notified on all the posts that I post, and uh, hit the like button as well. It helps with the algorithm, kind of helps people to see the videos that I'm posting and get the information that I'm giving out there to the masses. So thank you for that. Uh, but for today's video, I actually wanted to talk about something that kind of hit me the other day that I was I was just kind of hanging out on the couch relaxing, wasn't doing anything too special or anything, and I, I it just hit me. I was like, wait a minute. I've never talked about my loctician. And, you know, my loctician is somebody who's really helped me out and, and really been a big part of my lock journey and the start of my lock journey and obviously she continues to help me even still on my lock journey and, and you know, locticians in general are a staple to many people's lock journeys and there's a lot of good that can come from working with a loctician uh, but there's also things to kind of look out for as well, right? So in this video I kind of want to touch on a few things that might help you decide if you want a loctician or not and if you do decide that you want a loctician discussing a few things that they can help you with so we'll be looking at the pros and the cons, right? Because they're are good things of course when working with a loctician and things that maybe you might consider to be bad things or just the you know the sacrifice that you have to make in order to obviously work with a loctician we're also going to be discussing how do you pick a loctician where do you start how do you get in touch with one how do you know if they're good or not um you know just the process of kind of finding a loctician and and how to how to find a loctician or a good loctician that is and lastly i'm just going to talk about my experience with my loctician and the reason why I got a loctician in the first place and do you need a loctician and the ways that she's helped me on my lock journey and, and things of that nature. So stay tuned if you're interested in that, keep on watching because uh, we're going to discuss all of it starting with the pros and the cons. Obviously, you know, the pros are simple. So for those that don't know, I'll break it down to start. So a loctician essentially is a hairstylist that specializes in doing locks right whether it be freeform locks comb coils inner locks sister locks in some cases pretty much anything and everything locks they are there to help you to inform you and to obviously give you the hands-on physical approach of help that you might need for your lock journey so they're you know they're really helpful and they can do a lot of good things but there are things about locticians that maybe you need to look out for and this isn't every loctician. So we'll get into our pros and our cons a little bit and talk about those. So obviously some of the pros in working with a loctician is they can teach you things about your hair that you don't know. Things like, or they can even identify things about your hair that you wouldn't even think about. Things like your hair texture and why it's important to know what your hair texture is. In thinking about your hair texture, what lock start or what style of lock start should you go with? Should you go with interlocks? Should you go with comb coils? Um, you know, what style is best for your hair type. In terms of the locks that you want, they're going to help you to know how thick your locks should look. If you show them a picture of what locks you want to start with, they'll inform you and give you background information on, you know, how big your parted section should be. They're going to help you in terms of telling you what products to use. They can probably give you the right products. Um, they probably even make their own products. Or if they don't make their own products, they're going to tell you what direction to go in, right? Um, they'll help you to answer any questions you have along the way. If you encounter any hiccups along the way, they're going to help you and tell you what to do. So essentially, they're your new lock journey family member, if you will. And they're just there whenever you need them. You're either you're texting them, emailing them, giving them a phone call along the way. If you're going to get your retwist done with them or your interlocking done with them, basically they're your North Star and they can help you and guide you through all the issues that you might have on your lock journey. Uh, some of the cons, I guess, of, of having a loctician is, I mean, this isn't really a con, this would be like anything else, but, you know, they're providing you a service, of course, so you have to pay for that service. So, I mean, obviously, different locticians have different prices, but it is going to cost you something, right? So you're gonna have to make that sacrifice of your pocket, you know, and pay for the service that's being provided. As far as cons, honestly, that's it, really. I mean, you're just paying for the service, but that's obvious because you pay for any other service that you use and you receive that service. So I don't consider it to be a con, but depending on what your financial situation is, that might be a con to you, right? So you want to consider that when you're thinking about your lock journey, 
Now, if you're somebody who wants to work with a loctician, but you know, maybe you don't have the financial freedom to work with them on an ongoing basis, maybe pay for your initial lock start, whether it be interlocks, cone coils, whatever the case may be, and then, you know, try to learn from them or see them not as frequently. Maybe see them every two months or maybe see them every three months and learn how to do your own maintenance in between that, whether it be from them or you can use the internet. I mean, the internet's a very resourceful place to get information from and to learn things to kind of do on your own along the way. Or maybe you can work with them for a certain period of time. So maybe you say, okay, I'm gonna invest in working with them for the first year of my journey, which really is only seeing them depending on how, how infrequently you're gonna retwist, you know, maybe six times, maybe if you're seeing them every month, which is a lot, maybe then that's 12 times. So you can kind of break down, you know, how much of your finances you want to allocate to seeing a loctician and then seeing how many times you can see them in the course of a year and go from there. Okay, great. So now you've decided that you want to work with a loctician. Well, how do you decide on a loctician? Where do you start? Where do you go from? The biggest tip I would give for this, honestly, is getting a referral from somebody that you know. That's, in my opinion, the best case scenario because you're getting a referral from somebody that you know, someone that you trust, someone that can say, yep, I've worked with this person or I've seen the work that they've done on other people and they can vouch for it. That's great, of course, right? Uh, referral based system is always the best way to go. But if that's not something that you have the resource of or maybe you don't know anyone else that has locks and you want to go online with it, well, maybe try going with Instagram to start. And the good thing about Instagram is you're able to see the work that they do. You can see comments from some people that they work with and getting real life feedback from those people who work with this loctician and you know hearing about their testimonials, the good news, the bad news. So you're really getting to see the work that they've done and from there the proof's in the pudding, right? Another thing too with being able to find someone online or on Instagram or on social media platforms let's say is you can reach out to this loctician and before you even say hey let me book my first session you know, you want to ask them certain questions and you want to be able to get competent answers to those questions. So whether it be, you know, I want to start my lock journey with high top locks, let's say. So in them giving you competent answers, it'll let you know, okay, this person's educated. They know what they're doing. I've seen their track record in terms of people they've worked with. I've seen the pictures, I've seen the videos, I've seen the testimonials, people saying they love them. And now that I've spoken to this person, okay, they sound like they know what they're talking about. They're giving me the right answers and they already kind of have a vision for the locks that I want. So great, boom, you know, you're kind of good to go. So on your end, what you need to do then, if you're gonna reach out to somebody that you don't know is you have to have your questions prepared, right? Which means you need to think about what type of locks do you want? How thick do you want your locks to be? Do you want high top locks like myself where I just have locks on top of my head? Do you want a full set of locks? My best rule of thumb is have a picture of locks that you like or whether it be in a magazine, whether it be a celebrity whose locks you like and whose locks you want to kind of emulate um, and go in with that and then have the questions that you need prepared and when you ask those questions, you want to get back a competent answer. So essentially that's going to be your best way to kind of select a loctician and some things you want to stay away from with locticians is if their prices are way too high. Like honestly, if your loctician is charging you like $200, $300 to start your locks? No, just no. You know, realistically, the service shouldn't cost that much. And, you know, my loctician honestly does charge a premium in regards to what you consider a premium. But, you know, she has a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of experience. She's been in the industry for a very, 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 very long time. She has her own establishment that she owns. So, you know, she's not just somebody who is working out of her home or who just started or uh, whatever the case may be. But realistically, your loctician shouldn't be charging you hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars uh, for their service. And also, you wanna work with somebody who is schedule-based and somebody who is organized because that's gonna represent the person who's working with you and the person who's giving you information and help on your lock journey, right? So, you know, you wanna stay away from somebody who's charging way too much. You also wanna stay away from somebody who, you know, they don't really have any evidence of their work. Now, I'm not saying that every loctician should have an Instagram page that you can refer to, but if you do ask them, hey, you know, can I see some of your work or where can I find people who have worked with you to get feedback, 
they should be able to point you in the right direction or say, yeah, sure, I'll reach out to some of my clients and see if they can have a conversation with you or whatever the case may be. Honestly, in my opinion, I think they should have some place where you can actually see photographic and video evidence of the work that they've done if you don't get a referral from somebody. Because yeah, you know, there is somebody's auntie who just, you know, has her own place and she doesn't have no Instagram or no internet or nothing like that, but she's been doing it for years for everybody in the neighborhood and everybody knows about her you know what i mean so i'm not saying everyone has to have a website and all that kind of stuff i'm just saying you want to at least have a referral or you want to be able to see evidence of this stranger that you do not know and the work that they can do right because at the end of the day if this person is starting your law journey you want to make sure they can start it correctly and, and help you in the right way right you don't want to start your law journey and they're giving you bad advice or telling you the wrong products to use and then six months into your journey you got problems you don't want that right and we'll go into my last topic which is just essentially why did i start my journey with a loctician now honestly the main reason for me was i did do a lot of research on it but i just wanted the support to know from a professional that i'm doing the right thing and to give me a lot of feedback in terms of maybe things that i'm not thinking about and honestly it was the best thing i could have done like she told me about hair texture i didn't really think about that she told me about the fact that I should probably start with interlocks because the cone coils really aren't going to be the best for my hair texture. And honestly, I didn't take her advice at first, did cone coils, and she was right, you know? Wasted three months of my time, pretty much, where I wasted three months of my time, you know, trying to be adamant about doing the cone coils, and it just didn't work out for my hair. And I could have probably been more gentle with my hair in terms of the washing process or whatnot, but I just found that for me, you know, I would have had to wait way too long to wash my hair, and at that point I'd have too much buildup, and now I'm starting my locks on a dirty foundation, so, you know, she kind of eased me into understanding that the interlocking method, although it's not what I preferred, was actually better for me. So, you know, she was really able to help me and guide me in that way, and along the way whenever I had issues or whenever I had... Uh, any thoughts to products that I wanted to start using, I would run it by her and just to get her feedback, you know, and I would still do my own due diligence on top of that and do my research and, and um, you know, me working in the health industry, which I do. I kind of know a few things about, you know, what products are good and what products are not, but it was just good to kind of have that extra resource um, to kind of help you out on the process. And that's one of the benefits of having a loctician. And just knowing that when you go to get your retis or your interlock, you don't have to worry about it. They're professional, they're gonna take care of you. And what I loved was they're able to give you feedback every time you come back, you know, like if your hair is growing slow or which is something you probably can't help, but maybe it is. Maybe you're eating a certain way that's kind of not or it's kind of stunting your hair growth. Um, or if she's seeing certain things in your hair, she can just let you know that or she can kind of inform you on how the process is going. So one thing for me right now that I bring up all the time, if you've been following my channel, you'll know it's my tips, right? Like my tips. They're just taking a long time to lock. And she just kind of gives me that helpful feedback of just saying, you know, just that reassurance of like, they are locking up, it's just gonna take time. And for someone with my hair texture, it just takes a little bit longer. So, you know, just kind of hearing it from her is reassuring and just kind of makes you feel like, all right, we're good. So all in all, I would honestly recommend working with a professional loctician. I think that they're great. I think if you have the financial means to do it, do it. Unless you're somebody who kind of wants to do this whole process on your own and do your own research and go through it that way, I think that's dope too. I think do that. But even still, like even if they're not working on your hair, it's still good to know somebody who does have the background in working with locks to kind of bounce ideas off of and just see if you're in the right direction, you know? So, uh, stay tuned. Next week I got another video coming up for you guys. As always, I hope that was a helpful video for you. Please share it with a friend, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you did like it, and uh, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your locticians helped you out, or if you do have any personal questions about, you know, you wanting to work with a loctician, or maybe you are working with a loctician and you see some red flags that you want to talk about, shoot them down in the comments. Or just DM me on Instagram, Kojo Locks all the same name all right i'll leave all that stuff down in the description section below but looking forward to hearing from you and if i don't hear from you i'll see you next week all right that's it for me today peace and love kojo locks signing out